fourth next children is the word patent. Now, this is the basis or the foundation of the entire subject matter that deals with the legal system. The You can't patent a last name because it's already belonging to those that invented it. And it is based on the legal system assigning it onto an unwary host who doesn't realize they're passing on debt onto them. They're pushing something that's a leanable, alien to truth, from fiction. So they use spacecraft on this because you've got to fill in a lot of spaces in this crafty little game. But the key thing is you're given an instrument that you don't print that comes from an inventor. And we'll call this the Office of the Registrar General, which works under the crown and has a nice, uh, has a beautiful um, system of legal services that protect this with attorneys and prosecutors and everything possible that will be ready to prosecute you based on you opening your mouth and going in voice as a surety. So the uh, key thing about uh, patents uh, coming from the one who actually is giving you a patent. So most people are carrying around these little wallet sized short form birth certificates and I'm dealing with in Canada, Ontario seems to be the hub of the uh, Babylonian nation under the city of On, O-N, um, which was the head office for Baal worship for offering children up to the Molech God, the God of sin, and burning them alive um, symbolically. In that time they did it physically, now they're doing it symbolically. So their, um, their fictitious child is offered up on the altar, but uh, they kind of needed the energy of that given name on that record to do that to create this sacrificial instrument. And this is based on patent law. Now, patent right notes, because this is uh, produced by the Canadian Banknote Company Limited, and banknotes have to come from a banking source, so you can't have a banknote without a banking authority. So Canada seems to be authorizing the Canadian Banknote Company to issue these for these uh, provincial agencies. Um, and under patent right notes, uh, out of uh, Be Your Own Liar, I'm sorry, Be Your Own Lawyer book that was issued in the 1897. Hope I didn't offend any lawyers there. No, I did. I hope I did offend them. But anyways, under patent right notes, it says, any note or acceptance given for a patent right or for any interest in a patent right must have legibly written or printed across the face of it before the instrument is issued... The words given for a patent right, and without such words thereon, the instrument or any refer renewal of it is void, unless in the hands of an innocent holder for value. You know, I love the way they word these things. Uh, so it appears you're just the innocent holder for value that keeps on basically holding on to an instrument that says it's not given for patent right. But unfortunately, it doesn't relieve the innocent holder. Because, unfortunately, the innocent holder, at the end of this definition, ends up basically still on the hook with responsibility. Because ignorance of the law is no excuse. So if you're carrying around a counterfeit document that, said, that does not give you a patent right, well, do you think the guys with the patent would actually give you a real instrument that says given for patent right? Because then you'd be in control of the instrument. So this would totally remove the theory of, I'm going to capture this instrument, which is a lot of people's theory right now. They're going to capture the security. Oh my goodness, you're already in adverse possession, unfortunately, of a counterfeit security that does not give you patent right because you just requested to take on the authority of a title, that is not yours. So, of course, they will give you, under the request to get a birth certificate, to get one of these instruments. They'll say that you are authorizing the Office of the Registrar General and Government Legal Services to collect information on yourself and the person named on the birth certificate, and that you are consenting to these agencies to do so. And on top of it, you're aware and fully in understanding that, that making a false statement is a criminal offense. So, of course, they're going to treat you like a criminal. 
I hope this is getting more clear by the moment. I couldn't basically be more concerned for the audience that is not absorbing this because you're walking into a den of vipers that are waiting to feast on your blood. They are blood suckers, parasites as they've always been. They're the same, all these law societies are descendants um, of the Pharisees who were the same ones who went after Jesus Christ. So nothing's changed and you are the only one that can throw them out of your temple. But if you're consenting to give them something from God, which Jesus said, render unto Caesar what is Caesar's, he didn't say for them to be given your God-given name in order so they could proceed against you, claiming a lie, a fictitious title. So um, simply, you're going to have to do as much research as possible. We're in troubled times. This is not for the faint of heart.